ExoMars 2016 is several missions in one. Its orbiter is a science and relay mission, while the lander is a technology demonstrator to test key technologies for future missions to Mars. And three days before arriving at Mars on October the 19th, the Trace Gas Orbiter, or TGO, will release its entry, descent and landing demonstrator, Schiaparelli. We separate not too early so that the accuracy of landing is uh, good, but also not too late so that we have time then to reorient the TGO and actually raise its altitude and not crash on Mars because it is on the collision course up to the moment of separation so that it can bring uh, Schiaparelli to, to the ground, to the center hopefully of a landing ellipse. The landing ellipse is in an area close to the equator, about 100 kilometres long and 15 kilometres wide. It's in the planet's Meridiani Planum region, is relatively flat and smooth and is well studied. NASA's Opportunity rover is on the ground and ESA's Mars Express spacecraft has been overhead since 2003. Mars Express produced these images and will also act as one of the data relay orbiters. The Schiaparelli lander will use a heat shield, parachute and propulsion system to slow down its six-minute descent to Mars, testing the technology for a rover in 2020, as well as studying the environment at the landing site. Europe will be on Mars, but the mission is far from over. On arrival, the trace gas orbiter will be captured by the planet's orbit to observe the Martian atmosphere using four scientific instruments. The TGO will search for evidence of gases such as methane that may be associated with geological processes or biological ones such as life. And in order to enter its science orbit, the spacecraft will need to gradually lower its orbit. With ExoMars, ESA is going to use for the first time a method called aerobraking for a spacecraft in orbit around Mars to decrease the orbit by letting it fly through the atmosphere and using the atmospheric density to slow it down instead of using fuel for the engines. TGO will also be used to relay communications with Earth for current and future Martian missions. For example, the planned 2020 rover, the second phase of this joint European and Russian ExoMars mission. Seven months after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, the challenge now is to release the Schiaparelli lander for its descent to Mars and for the Trace Gas Orbiter to successfully enter an orbit around a planet whose history reveals so much about the origins of our own world.